weekend. Hundreds of lacrosse players will converge on Hardyville for an annual tournament that honors the life of a Savannah teen and his love for the sport of lacrosse. Ricky McAllister lived lacrosse. The Savannah team played a major role in getting the sport up and running here in the Coastal Empire. He was passionate about every sport, but, but coming to Savannah and not having lacrosse here, um, he just decided that he was going to take the bull by the horns. But one of the area's brightest lacrosse stars wouldn't get a chance to shine. Ricky McAllister's life cut short. Ricky killed in a single car accident January 1st, 2010. He was just one of those kids that, you know, everybody kind of like, you know, looked up to, you know, he was just the, he was the most popular kid I knew, you know, everybody liked him, nobody really had anything bad to say about him. Three years following his death, Ricky McAllister's love for lacrosse lives on. This weekend, the third annual Ricky McAllister Memorial Lacrosse Tournament will be held, with proceeds benefiting a program to promote teen driving safety and the continued promotion of the sport of lacrosse here in the Coastal Empire. I think it's had a very positive impact, and, uh, you know, Ricky wouldn't want us to do anything else. You know, he was one of those kids that was bigger than life, and uh, he always wanted to go. And, uh, you know, we, we, we like keeping him around. While McAllister's name lives on through a yearly tournament, his spirit always with his former Benedictine teammates. Ricky's number can be found on each helmet and on the back of a different senior each season. This spring, Hunter Bear will don McAllister's number 10. It's a lot of responsibility, but I'm also really excited because wearing Ricky's number means a lot to me. I mean, we were friends since the first grade, best friends really, and uh, it just means a lot, and I think it's going to really be good to not keep it on a shelf and have the number and the jersey still on the field. Last year, under the leadership of Ricky's father, Richard, Benedictine would claim the school's first state lacrosse championship. And the cadets can think of no better way to honor their fallen teammate and friend than winning it all once again in what would have been Ricky's senior season. Playing for Ricky, that's, that's a big deal. He, um, you know, he played for as long as he could, and he was probably the best player to ever come out of Savannah. And, um, you know, everybody tries to follow in his footsteps. To play for a name like that, it's, it's truly special. Somebody told me do, if you had the choice of spending 15 years, you know, getting to know Ricky or not having known him at all, what would you take? And I took the 15.